or I can write this as 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 used in the text a one sine omega one p plus phi one u one delta and plus a two sine omega two t plus phi two u two delta and note that we we know u one and u two right. And what we have to find out is the A1 and A2, that is a scalar. And the phi1 and phi2, meaning that we have four unknowns. And how can you find, how, how can you find four unknowns? We need the four initial conditions. What is the four initial condition? One initial condition is displacement of mass 1. And another initial condition is velocity of mass 1. And the other two initial conditions are displacement and velocity of mass 2. So, we have four initial conditions and four unknowns. We can find it. As we did for single degree of freedom system. Okay? So, if I summarize what I did is a two degree of freedom system essentially follows what we did for a single degree of freedom system. Okay? Yes. Yes. In fact, that can be obtained if you plot, for example, this one over here. Okay. Then omega square is a four. Therefore, I have minus thirty-six minus. Minus three and minus three, so four. This is one, and I am calculating u one and u two, u two x omega two is equal to zero. Okay. Is this one minus one? So what you will have? The ratio huh? it has to be twenty seven, right? Plus twenty seven. So the ratio between U one two and U two is one two minus three. Meaning that the second mode moves like this. As he Mentioned. Okay. So, if I conclude what I said using this dangerous demonstration, Okay. Oh. Oh. Good. I like experiments because experiment always provide me physical insights. Okay. We use the governing equation, we use this model, and then uh, we, 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 we use this model to mimic, for example, certain physical systems, for example, suspension system. And then we drive the governing equation using the law that governs the physical behavior, that is Newton's second law. And we express this in matrix form. 
matrix form. The mass matrix and K matrix. And the mass matrix in this case is diagonal, meaning that mass is not coupled. And for stiffness matrix, it's not diagonal, meaning that stiffness matrix is coupled. Physical meaning is each K affects the mass, as you can see here. Right? And the procedure to get the solution is same, very similar with what you did for single degree of freedom system. The single degree of freedom system, what we did, first derive the equation, and then assuming the solution, that gives us natural frequency. Similarly, what we did is assuming the X is composed by AJ, some vector U and exponential J omega T, and our objective is to find this U vector. Now, how to find it? This U vector is the displacement when I excite the system with the omega 1. Okay, you see there is some displacement difference, right? Okay. And how to mathematically find it? Put this omega 1 to this matrix equation. That gives me the ratio between the displacement of this one and this one. And the second U vector, U2 vector, can be found by putting omega 2 in the matrix equation. If I do physically, that is, I'm putting omega 2 and I'm measuring the displacement of this compared with this. That is has ma 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 negative phase. Okay. So I I showed you two degree of freedom system mathematically, and I demonstrate to you the two degree of freedom system physically. So. You all observe what's going on over here. Therefore, now you can do anything related with the freedom system. That's another very brilliant question. Yeah, mathematically it is possible. That we called the degeneration problem, meaning that I excite omega, the certain system, with omega 1, but that produce first mode, meaning that this, but can also produce the second mode using single omega. That is possible, but not this system. But the system, for example, the membrane which means that when you excite the drum, drum, drum can vibrate two different ways, two different shapes with single frequency. <laughs> and there are many, many other interesting phenomena you can see in a drum or other musical instrument, violin and so on. That's why I have been excited so much for a long, long time to study the musical instrument. <laughs> okay, so let's see uh, what you can do. In your life.